After World War II, there was no turning back the war machine. There was a good man who was supposed to be the, the vice president who should have been president instead of Harry Truman. A named, man named Wallace should have been president instead of Truman. Everyone talks about Truman being great. Truman was a corporate shill, man. Truman did what the military industrial complex wanted him to do to keep that war machine going. That's how that happened. That's who Harry Truman was. So anyway, enough about Truman. War machine. Oh yeah, the war machine. So it spins out of control, right? I mean, clearly, look at what the planet's, look what it's doing. When Barack Obama took office, we had special forces in about 60 countries. We now have special forces in over 135 countries. That happened under the peace guy? Um, excuse me? Um, hello? That happened under the peace guy? No, he's not the peace guy. So once you realize 9-11 was an inside job, your question is, what are they going to do next? That's what's scary. And I've written extensively on that at mindswell.org. But that's another story for another day, and this is a video that I'm going to wrap up, I guess, because, you know, if I just drone on and on like that airplane, there goes an airplane. Anyway. What's scary to me is that Republicans, I mean, I've been watching Republican conventions since I was a kid, okay, and they're always full of lies. They're just Lie, 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 lie. That's the Republican convention. Every four years they do that. So I'm a little frightened because while the media is portraying Donald Trump as a raving lunatic, and he is a raving lunatic, let's all just agree, <laughs> whether you're voting for him or not, he's still a raving freak of nature, that guy. What's scary about the Republican convention this time is that they're telling the truth. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, that's scary about Hillary Clinton's record. Hillary, <clears throat> sorry, I lose my voice because I'm, I get I'm angry because I'm, but I was raised a Democrat. I've been a Democrat all my life until Obama signed Obamacare. I'm like, I'm not a Democrat if that's a piece of shit. I don't want any part of that. And I don't, you're, that, that's the party, I'm out. I'm done. Teddy Kennedy would not have allowed that. And that's why you guys killed him with brain cancer, obviously. That piece of crap legislation just just bungled one thing after another. Because Obama works for the other side. His job is to just bungle everything. So that's what's scary. Because what are they going to do next, dude? It's, oh, it's Hillary Clinton's going to lose so badly. See, if they had Bernie, Bernie was so good, Bernie could have beat anyone. But Hillary is despised by most of the people. Why would you want that person? Oh, she's a woman. It's a woman's time. Not that woman. She's a warmonger. Literally a warmonger. And if she's not smart enough to see what her policies in Libya and Syria have done to those countries, then she, how can she even, how can she still even be running? I mean, she's destroyed those countries. And her, her, her answer is never, oh my God, yeah, I guess we screwed up. Her answer is, no, Libya is doing fine. They just elected somebody. Oh, did they now? You destroyed that country and all of their weapons and all of their treasure went to ISIS. That literally happened. So when I, I'm watching the Republican convention, I'm like, those guys are saying two things. That's scary. Because the Democrats, all the Democrats I know, well, they don't even want to talk about Hillary Clinton being actually a neoconservative. Man. She's a neoconservative. We have to say it, Hillary Clinton is literally a neoconservative. Her and Dick Cheney don't differ on foreign policy at all. They agree completely. So why is this woman representing the, the Democrats, the supposed progressive party, this warmonger freak whose husband sold out the middle class? Bill Clinton sold out the middle class, yes, the Economy did great under Clinton because the whole world was ramping up for Y2K. So all these companies spent an extra trillion dollars fixing their computers for Y2K. That's part of the surge during those years. And his tax policies were clearly better than the Republicans. I'm not going to argue that. His tax policies were better than the Republicans. Bush Reagan destroyed the country with their tax policies for the rich. Clinton at least fixed that. 
But then on the way out of office, he felt so bad about the whole Monica thing. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Ruined your chances of becoming president. I'm going to sell out to these guys. And he did. He sold out at the end. Bill Clinton sold out. He signed away Glass-Steagall protections, which had protected the economy. Glass-Steagall regulations protected the economy for over 60 years. It was in place to protect from gigantic banks looting the economy. And the companies who wanted him to do that, they just started building up for 2007, 2008. When they crashed the fucking thing. They intentionally crashed the economy and then took trillions more just from the treasury back to the banks that crashed it. My God, people don't realize what happened in 2008. Just what a, just a loot that was of the treasury of the United States by these corporate whores. And Hillary Clinton is their candidate. All right, it's getting riled up. I don't want the cops to come again. I'm gonna, I'm done talking tonight. That's my political rant uh, in between conventions. Enjoy that, I guess.